Hello again, my name is Yaya. So this is another small um, training, a very brief uh, training um, addressing the, the topic of um, redundant site identification. So the idea of this um, of this uh, section or this training is to is to help you optimize the network uh, by nominating sites uh, that can be turned off without losing coverage or losing coverage um, uh, criteria such as overlapping or geographical overlapping and so on. So this this feature was introduced um, on the um, on the 12th of um, September 2021 and you need to have a version uh, 23.3.5 or later. So the concept of this um, functionality is to be able to rank the sites. So imagine you have a network of 100 sites and um, and you they, that, that they were over designed for example and then you decided it's time to uh, nominate some sites to be uh, powered off. Uh, we don't want to go ahead with the construction of these sites. Uh, the cost is too high or whatever. And you want to find the sites that can possibly go away without without losing coverage. Uh, this is very important in uh, in, in uh, network feasibility um, uh, or network feasibility studies and in in ten um, in. Um, estimating the cost of the network, identifying the minimum number of sites you need to cover uh, a certain area and so on. So so again, the idea is to rank the sites based on the coverage criteria and then um, um, identify or prioritize the sites that can, um, that can be powered that can be powered off without losing much uh, coverage overall. So this function will visit one site at a time, turn it off, one side at a time. So starting with A, for example, here, turn it off and then see see how the coverage is behaving in terms of covered or not covered, and also in terms of uh, if overlap is still available. So it will it will go one at a turn, uh, A, then B, then C, and so on, and turn one at a time. Not it doesn't turn two at two at the same time. It's just one, and then look what happens. For example, look at this uh, site F. If site F is kept between E and G uh, here. Then, then it would not contribute much to the coverage itself or to, to the overlap. So this F can possibly go away. So the purpose of this function is to find this, uh, these sites and then give you a recommendation to turn them off. Now, it doesn't have to be a, 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 a line network like a rail. It could be also an area network like this. So we could help us find where which site can possibly go away. So let's run it. Uh, let me show you in the software how it works. So let's have a look at this network here. So I've got I've got this network here. Let me simplify it a little bit. So this is the network I have. Um, for this function to work uh, uh, properly, you need to have some sort of um, uh, design target. For example, a rail corridor or um, urban area or street or something. You need to have a target. So here the target can be, could be a line like this, or it could be a, a clutter. So you see here we have a brown clutter here. So this clutter is defined as a rail buffer. Okay. So you could um, you should have some sort of coverage criteria. Do you want to cover the entire map? Do you want to cover the the, the rail area? Do you want to cover um, streets? Uh, you know polygons, whatever. So you need to have a coverage criteria. So here we have um, a Tetra network uh, designed to, to, to um, the, with the minimum signal level required is 93 dBm. And uh, we have coverage predicted up to 10 kilometers or 7 kilometers or so. So this is the network. I'm using 83 watt, uh, 450 megahertz, 30 meter towers. So um, let's have a look at the function now. So the function or the, this new function is uh, introduced under network analysis here and side-by-side -side simultaneous server. So we call it side-by-side -side because, because we're doing uh, one site at a time in a, in a sequential pattern. So the software will automatically visit uh, one site at a time, turn it off, and then run the coverage analysis and produce uh, an, uh, a report, a report of the network performance as we turn off one site at a time. 
so this is the, the 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 interface so like i said we could use the vector line or vector polygon or we could use the the clutter i'm gonna use the clutter at this stage because i have a buffer um, I want to want to use so, but you don't have to use the clutter. You could also use the vector polygon or vector line. So I'm going to use the uh, the rail buffer, and I'm going to use the uh, optimize overlap level for based on two overlaps. So this is a user input. So in fact, the criteria could be could be one overlap only. You don't want to, which means you don't want to have any overlap between the sites, or it could be two overlaps, which means you want to have ge geographical overlapping between the, the sites or it might be a higher number so depending on your criteria so what the tool is going to do um, is going to um, turn off one side at a time and then compute the earlier percentage getting less than two equal to two and above two and this function this this functionality here the checkbox rs this is introduced for for 3g 4g 5g technologies because these technologies are based on rscp or rsrp so we only use this function uh this checkbox with uh, 3g 4g 5g technologies now in my case here i'm using tetra so i don't need to so that's the function um and and um if you choose that function it will automatically turn off the stations it will automatically turn off the stations at the end of the process now we don't i don't want that so i don't want the software to go and find the best solution i want the software to give me um a priority table and then i'll make a decision because the decision making process involve usually other factors such as do we have this site for capacity reasons maybe this site is more difficult than this site to to um to construct so that then you decide oh no i'm not gonna power off this one i'm gonna power off this one it's more desirable so, so there's, there's other criteria um, going into that process of making decision. So that's why I don't want the software to make the black white decision for me. I want to get a report and then I will sort or prioritize these stations um, in the report and, and I'll make a decision myself. So you run the simulation and then you see now the tool is um, jumping, um, jumping uh, from one side to the other. So simulation is progressing almost there. Site number 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Done. So here we go. That's the report. So as expected, the report have the name of the station to be deactivated. And then the percentage of the overall coverage getting uh, or percentage of the area where we have coverage overlap of equal to two exactly above two which means three four five six seven and so on under two which means one and zero okay so go listing to produce um, a, a csv report here we go that's a csv report i'm going to delete the first two lines and i'll explain to you how you can read this so control a and then um i'm going to expand it a bit so and explain it to you what's happening here so data and then filter and i'm going to sort by less than two okay this one here smallest to largest so this one is your benchmark before you do it before doing anything okay so this is the situation in the network before turning off anything so your network right now is enjoying if i want to sum here sum these two two and above so this network right now enjoying 99.5 percent um uh, coverage where you have two or more overlaps okay so it's it's significant right so 99.5 percent of the rail buffer is enjoying two or more um overlaps and less than two is 0.45 so which means one means no overlap which means also coverage okay and zero as well so so the the is only small fraction 0.495 percent so that's that's your reference point your starting point now you notice this this number is not changing for the site num for the first site and the second and the third here you go so these these ones uh this one is none so this is also the case of none 
So I could delete this one for now. So here you go, these two have no impact whatsoever. So these sites, these, these two sites, turning them off, turning off the site address number six is not changing anything in terms of your, um, you're not losing any coverage. You're not, you're not losing any coverage. So still the percentage is 0 0.4969. And the same for the side. So 6 and 13, if you turn them off, you would not, um, you would not have any change in your network in terms of um, network um, uh, overlap less than two. So you're not losing more coverage and you're not being penalized. You're still achieving the 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 percentage you want here. Let me put it here. Here you go. So this is your your coverage two and above. This is greater than or equal to overlap. So your redundancy is intact up to this point. I'm not saying here there is there is significant impact. There is impact, but it could be insignificant. So you need to you need to go one by one and see what happens. So, but these two these two floating at the very top, they if you decide to turn them off, they have absolutely no impact on on the coverage. The coverage is you're not losing coverage any further. The coverage is already sitting at at ninety nine point five percent. It's still sitting at ninety nine point five percent. And in terms of your redundancy. It's it's probably dropped from more than two to two, but still two is your criteria. You can see here we, we have lost a little bit more than two uh, overlaps. But who 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 wants more than two? We don't want more than two. We want to be two, two or above. Two is your threshold. So you see here there's some change. There's some change in terms of equal to two is increased from nine to fourteen percent, and more than two has dropped from forty nine to forty eight percent and eighty percent, which is perfect. Less pollution. So less pollution is taking place, but I'm still maintaining my my overall criteria over two, over two and above. It's still maintained 99.5%, 99.5% maintained, and I haven't lost actual coverage, which is awesome. So six and th and thirteen can possibly be turned off. Six and thirteen. You see, they turned off by by the software. They've gone. Okay. And um, and uh, and the tool um, recommended these two sites can possibly go away. Let me show you where they are. Standard here. Here they are, the black ones. So this site is has gone away, okay. And the same for this site here has gone away. So this is the idea of this function: is to recommend. You can still display Control C coverage. So that's what the coverage look like now. Still, we have continuity, continuity in the coverage, and control O overlap. You see, there's still overlap. You have perfect overlap in the in the buffer zone. Same here. You still have overlap. So you've lost overall pollution, but you haven't lost coverage or overlap equal to two. So this function is very powerful, and it's giving you the opportunity to to prioritize your sites for deactivation. Okay, if these two are critical for you for another reason, then you can jump to the other ones. Okay, so this is sorted list of um, sites and their impact on overall network. So this is the functionality we wanted to talk about today. It's really powerful, very useful function. And um, if you have any questions uh, about it, please drop an email.